Hi guys, Robbie 46 here and welcome yourselves back to Valentino Rossi. The game let's continue with career mode. We are at Assen. We're still on the Aprilia. So let's see what we can do here. Hopefully we can have a good race. We're starting in that 12th position and let's see what we can do. Is the track not proven? Too much of a problem for the Aprilia. Um, first corner just having to take a little bit steady and uh, a couple of other corners as well but other than that I think Paul actually saved us then because our rear stepped out quite a bit but we're up to 8th and just ahead of us or just behind us now is Crutchlow so we're up to 7th Rossi just ahead of us but Ian O'Ne in the lead with Lorenzo just going up the inside of him oh god fucking hell okay so that didn't go too well we're back down to 8th got tagged by Vinales, Crutchlow's come past, Vinales is trying to cover, so is Elish. so both Suzuki's trying to get past me, but we've got Crutchlow back, so we're up to 7th, now we need to try and close in on these guys, we've got Danny Pedroza in 6th now, so we need to get him, get ahead of him, and see if we can pull away, ooh, come on, Lorenzo looking like he wants to get away, but what can we do through this really fast sector? Because we are usually pretty good through here. So let's see how much of an advantage we can get through here. Whoa! Okay. So we've got massive, massive exit speed. And we're up to second place. Just got a close in on Lorenzo, which we're already doing as we go into the Gert Timmer chicane for the first time. And we are right with Jorge Lorenzo. I'm not going to try and outbreak him into the first corner just because I know that the rear will come round. They almost did. But uh, yeah, the rear will come round and I don't want that to happen. Try to get up the inside, didn't work there. Oh, almost got up the inside of him again. Where can we do this? We can get a good exit out of here, shove it at the ins. Nah, too far away. If we can get a good exit out of here, then hopefully we should be able to get him. No, that Yamaha pulling him away out of that uh, hairpin. Rossi is in third now, 0.8 behind. So here we go. We're right with him now. We can get some good drive out of this couple of corners. And we should be able to take the lead from him. Oh, he's gone wide, he's gone wide. Not being able to capitalise on that error. You know, Nate and Dobby fighting in fourth position. A bit of a mistake there from me. Let's let Lorenzo off the hook a bit. Come on. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we're definitely going to take the lead in this right-hand kink or just after it. Look at that. Around the outside of Lorenzo. Easy as you like through there. And we are in the lead at Assen on the Aprilia. Now, will Lorenzo respond by the looks of the map? No, he won't because we are quite a bit ahead of him although he has closed in quite a bit on the brakes will he try and get us into the first corner probably a bit too early there got wide he's come back through so we've got a bit of a fight on our hands as we go right try and get up the inside that's not gonna work okay so Lorenzo's back on in the lead we are on the final lap we've got Rossi just behind us need to try and get back past Lorenzo I think our best bet is to wait until the fast back sector because that is where we are quickest he's actually pulled away quite a bit at the moment which is a bit worrying only 0.6 of a second we've got to try and uh, reel him back in okay we're doing that so that's fine Yeah, we're back with him pretty much. 0.3, Rossi's 1.1 behind. So we're safe from Rossi. we just got to try and get Lorenzo. Gone very wide there. That's going to cost us quite a bit of time. Right, can we do this? Will we get enough speed? Have we given him a bit too much of a gap to try and bridge? We're going to have to try and go for it. So let's go. We are gaining... We are gaining, but he's still in the lead at the moment around the outside. That's not going to work. We're on the grass. We're still on the track. We're not going to do this. We're going to run out of time as we go into the chicane. Can we try and get a better exit out? 
No, it's not going to work. Just missing out on the win there. Whew, we tried into the into the chicane, but unfortunately, um, Lorenzo had the best line for the chicane. Tried to go around the outside of him, but didn't unfortunately work. So, second place at Assen. Saxon Ring now. So, we need to try and... Uh, we need to try and win again. I know that the, the points difference in the championship is still quite big, so it's not too bad that we're getting like second place, but it is always nice to win. So let's see if we can do this. Spiger and Crutchley got a bad start. We're up to seven. We're up to sixth. We've gone past Lorenzo already. And we're past a few other. No, we're not. And Lorenzo trying to get back past us. Around the outside of Vinales, that's not going to work. We've gone very wide. I think Lorenzo probably might come back through. No, he's not. We've got up the inside of loads of them. We're up to second with Marquez in the lead. We've gone very wide, though. And Pedroza is back through. So Danny Pedroza in uh, third now because we've got back past him. So we're chopping and changing quicker than I can speak. We're with Marquez right now. Feeling good, feeling strong. Oh, fuck, that's very wide on the gravel. Oh, God, this is not going well. Pedroza's is back through, so is Rossi. Ian Oney's right there. A few of them over the curb. Here we go, around the outside of Rossi. Can we cut back? Marquez on the grass. Oh, a tap there from Rossi. And we're back down to third place. Pedroza's back through, but we're back up the inside of him, so we're still in third. Those two went on the grass. We've got a bad exit because our rear was squirreling all over the place. It's been quite an intense first lap at the moment. Pedroza trying to come back through, and yes, he does on the break. So does it. Loads of them. Fucking hell. Okay, back up the inside of Lorenzo. We're back up to fourth. No, we're not. We're back down to fifth. We'll try and get back past Lorenzo. Come on. I know we're only on lap two at the moment. We need to try and get Lorenzo to switch to the inside and try and get up the inside of him. Yeah, there we go. So we're back up to fourth. We've gone wide though. He's going to come back through. Yes, he is. We're back down to fifth. And we're back up to fourth. We're actually back up to third because we've got Pedroza. We've got terrific drive out that corner. Up the inside of Rossi. And we're back with Marquez. We're good on the brakes there. Going a bit wide though, but that's fine. Oh, almost straight to the back of Marquez there. Where are they? Marquez is there. Rossi is there. Marquez is over the curbs. Fucking hell! Marquez has just had a huge crash over the curbs. Oh shit! I just seen something at the corner of my eye then. I just seen a bike go flying in the corner of the screen. I don't know who the fuck that was. And oh shit! Fucking hell, so we're concentrating on other people's crashes. And we've actually crashed ourselves. We're back down to 18th place with only one lap to go. We may have just thrown this win away. Fucking hell, it's all going on now. We're going to have to push really, really hard now. See where we can get. We need to try and get in the points at least. That would be very nice. Pass Brado. Marquez is just there. So Marquez is 16th place. Our other teammate Bautista is just ahead of him. Try and get up the inside of Marquez, switch to the inside. That worked, we got him. Bautista's next. Oh, kind of used him as a berm there, but we're through up to 15. So we're in the point, we're past Rabat, we're past Baz, I think that was. So 13th place on the brakes, past Pedroza. So Pedroza has been down by the looks of it. Maybe that was the, uh, the bike that I saw in the corner of the screen uh, just before I crashed. We're up to 9th, we're up to 8th. We're up to 7th place and we've only got a few corners left. We're on the grass. We're all over the place. Vinales, no, Spargo got a bad drive. We're up to 4th place so we're almost on the podium. Oh shit, we're following Vinales across the grass. We're back down to 6th. We may have just blown the podium. Let's go for a lunge up the inside. We're up to 3rd. Need a good exit. Fuck, stop spinning. That's not the exit we wanted. Oh no, <laughs> at least just beat us to the line. So we actually got 4th place, but 4th place from 18th place is pretty good going, especially on a short track that this is. I want to look at the replay because I want to see what the fuck happened to Marquez. 
So we go, there's Marquez, a massive fucking hell, a massive crash. He went over the curb and just took off and fucking hell, that was a huge crash. Rossi, really lucky not to crash as well, because he, look at that big wheelie Rossi had. So switch to Marquez, actually, I think we were with Rossi. Rossi got hit by the bike and that was a big moment for him. So let's see if we can go with actual... Go with Mark. Here we go. It's with Marquez. Fucking hell. That bike hit Rossi. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, I didn't realise that's why Pedroza crashed. He went straight into Marquez's bike. Fuck. Bike is just there. Uh, Pedroza just takes off. And that bike is what I saw at the corner of the screen. Going fucking... Mental in the gravel. I don't know why I've switched to Lorenzo, but that, yeah, the fu that's what I saw at the corner of my screen. Pedroza's bike going off. That's why he crashed. That was uh, that was interesting to see. That was fucking. That was a horrible crash. So Pedroza just going about his business. Marquez's bike just set, and his bike just fucking took off. Wow. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. And I shall see you guys next time for more Valentino Rossi the game. See you!